Hi everyone, hope everyone is doing fine today. Here is Abdul and today we have another watch review and this time we have the Anordain Model 1 as you can see the one here and we have here this beautiful piece the Anordain Model 1 with the Grand Faux enamel teal dial really nice watch so basically I ordered this watch around 18 months ago a long waiting period for this dial and at last I received it about a month ago and I was wearing it ever since. Really a fantastic watch. And as you can see, I have an engraving on the back. So let's start by Anordain. So Anordain offers really cool watches from Scotland. So as you can see, you get something like this, where you get purchase date, watchmaker, serial number, and they explain to you the whole enameling process grand foam enamel how how do they make it how do they paint it by hand and how does this process really uh, excruciating process let's say of painting on a copper disc the steps putting it on 830 degrees celsius and as you can see painting it by hand and removing all the sides and the issue, the biggest issue with enamel dials is that uh, a lot of dials crack, so they have to uh, uh, redo the whole process. So that's why this is an expensive process. And you can see here when they put out, print out the numerals and the hands, they blue the hands, which is quite nice. Treat the hands with the bluing process, thermic bluing process. And all the steps here, you get it with this really cool pamphlet to explain to you the whole process of putting the watch together so basically this one comes with this elite sw210 uh, mechanical hand line movement and these are the choices so you have the the blue you have the ox blood red you have the white and the one that i have the teal which is even looks better in in, in real than in pictures and this is like i said the parisian blue the japanese ox blood red the iron cream and the one that I have is the teal yeah, really nice watch and as you can see you get also the specifications of the watch so this is has a sapphire glass with anti reflective coating a steel solid screw in case back five atmos five years warranty which is quite good 38 millimeters in diameter 46 lug to lug 11 millimeter thickness and you have 80 millimeters lug width with the virtuous enamel on a copper dial. And of course, uh, uh, some caring for uh, the watch. So back to the watch. And as you can see, we have here a really nice uh, uh, Russian um, calf leather strap, which matches it. You have a matching buckle with an ordain uh, logo on the buckle. You have also an an ordain logo on the crown and winding and as you can see here let me polish the dial up and really tell you it, it looks really in better uh, better in real life than even in, in, in the video uh, you have a polished case so really nice polished case and the size is perfect so i have 38 millimeters let me get the caliper zero it in so you have basically a 38 millimeters diameter 46 lug to lug, 46 lug to lug, and thickness 12 with 18 millimeters lug width. No loom on this watch, so you don't get any loom, but it's quite nice to wear it in the mornings. What you get with the watch, you get this traveling, nice traveling pack where you can put two other watches I have here my straps for the watch so you get here one place and another so this looks like a wild uh, 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 leather and outside also really nice leather with the an ordain inscribed at the back and um, by the way I'm wearing this RZE testing it out so check out the unboxing and review video of the watch so I put this watch on my wrist I have 17.1 centimeter wrist for reference and here we go we close this out I chose the small strap because I really like the strap to stay here and not go back and flap. So this is how it looks from the side, from the front. 
excellent watch really nice design and i'll show it to you on different step options as well now and then we'll put it on the time graph and see how it looks so this is how it looks on this blue with teal uh, uh, strap it's really nice it's like a rubberized plastic strap or rubberized leather strap really nice with cork in the back so i have the teal color combination with the blue i really like this combination and i will definitely wear it with this one when i'm going to uh, meetings at work and i have this python leather strap which looks also quite nice on the watch as you can see i just put it backwards but it still looks quite nice so at the back like i said i have some inscription on it time is the most valuable thing a man can spend which i chose and you can see old crafts and ordain new hands quite nice Let's put it on the time grapher and see how this watch specs have held out because the Sedita movement inside is quite excellent as well. As we can see, it's running on plus two seconds per day, 0, 0.0 milliseconds beat error, high amplitude of 290, 28,800 vibrations per hour, quite good. Everything looks fine. And definitely this is now one of my favorite watches to wear because the dial is just really, really nice. Anyways, if you have any questions about this watch or any other watch, leave them in the comments below. This is as always an invitation to like, subscribe and hit the bell button and hopefully see you in the next one. Bye bye everybody.